Welcome back, everybody, to Radio Entrepreneurs, and we are streaming more stories about entrepreneurship every day. That is our goal, talking about the new economy and how people are facing up to the new realities. Uh, again, my name is Jeffrey Davis from Mage LLC, and our next guest, Mark Sokol, founder of BestBanking.com. Welcome, Mark. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Well, tell me how best, what BestBanking.com is and how it's going to help our listeners. Well, bestbanking.com is a funder. Actually, we're pioneering a hybrid website of not only multi-bank backing with a network of banks and business funders, but also crowdfunding on our new platform. And to be honest, if you went to a bank and said, we have a crowdfunding service, they'd throw you out the, the first time they, they talk to you or, or see you stop by the bank. If you say it's best banking, a best banking service, which is synonymous with crowdfunding, they say, how fast can you come down? So we've uh, implemented a, a platform where you can get a small business loan and also have the option of crowdfunding for your cause, your business, your charity, your nonprofit. Uh, so do you work as an intermediary helping organizations? Exactly. We are... Uh, stressing that BEST really stands for two things, Backing Entrepreneurs and Startups of Tomorrow, that's the acronym. But BEST Banking really is the secret sauce. BEST is not to be the ultimate or the uh, pinnacle, it's actually how it best suits the customer. So we're the intermediary to a bank, a, a secondary lender. We're almost like a private SBA by letting a, a small business, especially in, in these, uh, uncertain times to have a crowdfunding campaign and in effect they're collateralizing with their crowdfunding campaign alone that they may seek at their local bank. And, and how do you how do you get your fees? That's a good question. We, we pr pr provide the tools similar to like Facebook. We provide the crowdfunding tools for the business owner that starts a campaign on the bank's host page. And we want them to crowdfund for whatever their, their cause is or their business. In this case, for example, if a restaurateur, in, in these times they're, they're hurting, in, in times prior to the pandemic, the restaurateur wanted to crowdfund for a food truck and say the food truck's $50,000. They would crowdfund, maybe they make 47000 using their social network. The bank can now see that they are good to collateralize a loan for about 2,000 or 3,000. So they're a success. Once they're a success, the bank gets a 2% success fee, and so does Best Banking. So we provide the tools, we let them leverage their social networks. So you're working on the success fee. You're take, you're, you're, your skin's in the game with the entrepreneur, so to speak. Exactly, but what we found and there are other sites that are similar, like GoFundMe, for example, stresses charities and nonprofits. We do that too. Bestbanking.org would do the same thing where we don't charge a success fee. What we do is we provide the uh, frictionless way of making a contribution, and we make money off the processing fee. So it's a win-win for everybody. So, Mark, tell us a little bit. Let's go in the Wayback Machine. Let's tell us a little bit about your background, how'd you got, how you got to this. Well, I uh, was one of the first to sell anything online uh, years ago in 1997-98 when I was in the entertainment business. I was a professional magician in Greater Boston doing a lot of charity work with CJP and uh, Jerry Lewis uh, Telethon. And then I uh, became a recruiter. I was uh, in the mid-90s seeing the internet come on and I was one of the first to sell what I was selling back in 1990 professional magic supplies of all things all over the world. I sold it online in 2000. And uh, I evolved with the net and I realized that you needed a mechanism to search any website you have. So we created bestsearching.com, bestbidding.com, bestclassifieds. I think you can see a trend uh, in, in everything that we developed. When I noticed best banking around 2008, it was my luck that we had another national, almost global crisis with a financial crisis. So instead of trying to sell and work with the one bank directly, I realized crowdfunding, if it was renamed as best banking, 
That's the secret sauce that every bank would want to do and, and participate online. And so far, we're seeing that gain momentum. The next big thing is social commerce. We're launching on our new platform, Best Social Commerce, and uh, that's going to be taking off. We see that already bubbling up. Well, that's, you know, that's all very interesting. And, uh, you know, I could think where this is applicable to a lot of entrepreneurs today. There are a lot of businesses starting up due to the new economy. This is usually when you see a lot of new businesses. So you are an alternative for them to help them get that, that step up. That's correct. And uh, I can tell from being uh, an entrepreneur from those days as an entertainer to being an online entrepreneur when nobody knew what online selling and e-commerce was to now, like I mentioned, social commerce. But uh, it, it hasn't been all uh, roses in the last uh, couple of years, uh, right before everything launched. Uh, we had a, a, a few things that were unexpected and working so hard and, and battling some health issues, which I uh, uh, overcame. I, uh, if you read the, the bio, I was homeless for uh, a short time. And the irony was, I realized BEST also stood for Black Entrepreneurs and Startups of Tomorrow. So while I was in the homeless shelter during February of uh, 2018, I was emailing out from several uh, libraries to my LinkedIn connections, to my banking friends. They never knew where I was because I realized a lot of black entrepreneurs like uh, Steve Harvey and Halle Berry, they went through the same thing. And you can overcome as long as you stay focused. My problem was I was too focused at one time and I had to slow down. Now I'm focused where everything is moving in the proper direction and I want to be the poster boy for, for, for people to realize you don't give up, there's always tomorrow. And if you have that entrepreneurial spirit, have that within yourself too and you can keep on moving forward. Right. We've been speaking with Mark Sokol, founder of bestbanking.com. This is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis from Mage LLC. Mark, if someone wants to find you, how do they do that? Well, I made it very easy. If you want to find me directly, you can go to mrbestbanking.com without a period. That goes to one of my sites, and my toll-free number is there, 833-BEST-BBA. And also, bestbanking.com is online now. If you need a business loan, if you need something to augment the Paycheck Protection uh, Program, which is running out, uh, time is running out on that, we can help. So bestbanking.com, bestbanking.org, and uh, you can reach me at mrbestbanking.com. Uh, okay, remind everybody that again is Mark Sokol. My name is Jeffrey Davis. This is the one and the only Radio Entrepreneurs, and we'll be right back with more stories after this break. <laughs> 